Hello, now we're going to learn the second part of using sine, cosine, and tangent to find specific angles. Now in this triangle, first thing we want to do is write a proportion. Now uh, that's using sine and cosine and tangent. We have to first label our sides adjacent and hypotenuse. This is opposite, but we don't need it. Adjacent and hypotenuse, if we write out so ka toa Think about which one of these uses adjacent and hypotenuse. Sine uses opposite and hypotenuse. Cosine uses adjacent and hypotenuse. So that's what we will use. We'll say the cosine of our angle is equal to our adjacent side, which is 20, over our, our hypotenuse, which is 25. Wonderful. Now we have our proportion. There's two things we can do. We could turn this into a fraction, or we could just go straight plug it into our calculator as the inverse cosine. Now remember here to find our angle, we have to take the inverse cosine of both sides to figure out what this is. So I'm going to go to my calculator. The inverse cosine of 20 over 25 gives us the answer of 36.87. So well, it's, that's pretty close to 37. So this is pretty close to 37 degrees. Now that's our answer. Let's try another one. So uh, over here, first thing we have to do is label our sides. We have our opposite. We have our adjacent. And our hypotenuse we don't use here. So if I write so katoa out again, we got to find most sine uses hypotenuse, cosine uses hypotenuse, tangent uses opposite and adjacent, and that's what we have. So I'll write the tangent of our angle theta is our opposite side, which is 50, over our adjacent side, which is 20. So now, if I want to find theta, I take the inverse tangent of 50 over 20, and inverse tangent of 50 over 20 it is 68.2 degrees or we can just I'm fine with rounding to 68 right now 68 degrees is our angle in the triangle all right let's try another one again we want to write our proportion first from our angle 5 is our opposite side our hypotenuse is 42. Opposite over hypotenuse is sine. So I'll write sine of theta is equal to 5 over 42. Now I take the inverse sine of both sides. And theta will be inverse sine 5 over 42. 6.8, so about 7 degrees, so that's about 7 degrees, not 70, need to learn how to write, 7 degrees. I think I have one more here, no I don't, that's all I have. Hopefully you understood it from there and you can continue to do the rest of the problems. Good luck.